What is the secret weapon on the Chase Bliss Reverse Mode C? Let's find out. Another video in my series on the Chase Bliss Reverse Mode C. Each video, five to 10 minutes long, where I pull apart the different elements of the pedal and help you understand how to get the best out of it. In this video, I wanna show you what I think is the secret weapon on the Reverse Mode C, and something that until I owned it, I didn't realize that it did. So if we engage the pedal, so we've got this running in stereo. delay on. Cool. So I'm going to show you the secret weapon. Are you ready? So I think the secret weapon on this pedal is this button right here. It does two things. First thing is it does pretty simple, straightforward. You'd expect it. It is a tap tempo. Not too exciting, and not the reason why I think that this button is the secret weapon on this pedal, but it does the job, right? So what I'm gonna do is show you the two different ways that you can use this. Whenever there's an option to have a momentary freeze or looper, I always want it to latch. And what that means is, rather than it being momentary, you press it and you can let go and it stays engaged. At the moment, it comes with the latch dip switch off. So if I turn that off, keep that off rather, what that means is, is to engage this I'm going to have to keep my finger pressed down on it or your foot pressed down on it. And I can see how if you're playing live and you want something just to momentary hold and freeze, that would be really useful just to, to hold it down. So let's have a play with that. And it just keeps going. Let go. And hold. And it keeps going. So pretty cool, but I like to hold that. Obviously, I'm playing oftentimes in studio setting uh, with my hands, right? So that's not mega useful because you can't then play something else over the top of it if you want to do that. And it's nice just to be able to put the instrument down and then be able to play the pedal as the instrument. And that's really what this opens the reverse mode C up to. Now, I didn't realize that it did this. I thought that was sort of the mood's job or mood two's job. Um, and it is, and that's one of the reasons why people love that pedal. But the fact that you can do elements of that on this pedal, I think, is a bit of a game changer for me and made me think differently about a few of the Chase Bliss range. So let's put the latch switch on, and then I'll show you how you can freeze and hold whatever you play and then manipulate it on the pedal. So what I'm going to do for the purposes of this demonstration is turn the delay time up so we get a bigger piece of music to capture. Let's have a go at that. Just play pretty much any. And now I'll show you how you can influence this on the pedal. So we've got this on standard forward delay, of course. We can impact that by changing the balance, the balance knob. So let's go all in. So we've got reverse octave, we've got reverse, all sorts of good stuff. And we can change the filter, so EQ it basically. Take all the high end out and the mids, just the low end. Or the opposite.
So we go the basics of capturing a sound in there, freezing it, and then using three or four of the different settings on the pedal to manipulate the sound. Similar in some respects to the Mood 2, uh, this functionality on the Chaseless pedals is just really, really cool for music production. You might just want some sound in panned on the hard right or something that just comes in and out of a track once for 10 seconds that the listener thinks, well, how do you make that noise? And oftentimes it's through using pedals like the Reverse Mode C to generate sounds that are working across a whole range of effects alternatively you might just want to play a piece of music that you can then play over the top of or latch onto something in the reverse mode c and then potentially capture that in a loop or elsewhere in your board and then go back and start again as something that i've done previously in the past <laughs> Now when you capture it in the pedal, it's worth noting that the effects of the pedal on what you then start playing on the dry signal go. But you could, for example, capture something, take the high and the mids out of it to a degree, and then put your guitar into the bridge pickup, so you're getting a, a more trebly high end sound on your guitar and just jam over the top of that. Additionally, you could add modulation to that, so we could add some frequency shifting. Yes. That sounds awesome. Add some vibrato. Just turn the rate down a bit. Or even some chorus. anything that you've seen me do on the pedal that I didn't explain during this video then it will be in one of the videos that I've released here on YouTube around the reverse mode C. If you'd like to watch those then hit the subscribe button and there will be a link somewhere around here for the playlist so please do take a look at those. I release a couple of videos every single week here on the channel and I'd love to have you back every week so yeah please do hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching.